Hello everybody and welcome back to more Fate Grand Order Lost Belt 4. A lot is happening when we're barely even into this chapter. <laughs> Alright, let's meet this god on the mountain. All that aside, all that aside, where is this god? I can sense something nearby, but I don't see them anywhere. I've actually worked up a sweat from walking around so much. I think I'll take a little break here. Ah. <laughs> Aha! This rock should make a fine seat. There we go. Ah! But what in the world was that? It sounded like a pig squealing for its life. Oh. I, I can't take it anymore! <laughs> a beautiful voice, beautiful body coming in direct contact with me. Uh, I mean, never mind that. <clears throat> Testing, testing. How dare you, humans, mans, mans. Bow your heads before me, me, me. You are in the presence of a god. <laughs> Leave here at once if you value your lives. Do that, and I promise your family will live in health and your business will prosper. <laughs> what the- did the rock just talk? Special translation- alright, kill it with fire. Bo, no. What was that? What a cheeky little animal you are, daring to challenge a god. <laughs> yes, I can understand you. Know why? Cause I'm a god! Very well then, if it's a fight you want, it's a fight you shall have! <laughs> now leave all your money behind as an offering! <laughs> it says question mark, but here's the thing. I already know the class. <laughs> you can't fool me. So, with that in mind, uh, class affinity. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that should do. I want to talk about what I know about this character, but I don't want to spoil things in case anybody watching this has somehow miraculously remained unspoiled this long. That's right, I looked at the thing wrong. Um... Crap, what is the... Are rulers good against moon cancers? Well, my only ruler is the moth, so... Come from. I'm confused. Anyways, 
Oh, let's get a stun. Another stun just because I can. I don't know how far I need to take this. Probably just down to the first HP bar. Now, I don't know if you're single target or AoE or what, so I'm gonna play it safe here. I still don't know where this evade on Enkidu is coming from. It's not their craft essence, they just have imaginary element on. Is it from this skill? Or debuff, rather? Oh, you're not using your noble phantasm? Okay. Okay, yeah, it is that. <laughs> and for whatever reason, it just keeps hitting Enkidu specifically. Yep, that'll do it. Worship me, praise me, spoil me, run to the convenience store and get me more ice cream so I can concentrate on grinding. <laughs> oh, mood. Hey, Karna? This divine aura. It can't be what I think it is, can it? Don't move, Rama. This won't take long. Watch it! Do you have any idea what a close shave that was? I actually don't know what she sounds like. Your spearhead was just a few centimeters away from making a yucky sish kebab out of my flap. <laughs> Karna? What are you doing here? I was just about to ask you that. What are you doing here? Why was her name beeped out? <laughs> Alright, so, Moon Cancer. Let's check the class affinity properly this time. Yeah, rulers are better. But... Eh, I think the setup I was using works pretty nicely. I think all I'll change is switch Mothman there out to the front for extra DPS. Karna? What are you doing here? I was just about to ask you that. What are you doing here? 
Beep. And I know I read those lines completely differently than when they happened the first time. <laughs> you two know each other? Hmm? Did I just say something? What a strange feeling. I have no idea why I said I was just about to ask you that, or what it was I wanted to say afterwards. This is all very unclear, even to me. I've never met this woman before. And yet... And yet... It's strange. I don't know how to describe this feeling. It feels as though I've just met the light of my life. Oh! And like I've just encountered my big sister. And like I've just encountered my life coach. <laughs> and like I've just encountered someone who needs to be cared for and tended to all at once. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't know how else to put it. Ah, so that's what's going on. I guess that makes sense, since Karna's not a god. So he just vaguely remembers his former masters from the other worlds. Oh well, can't help that now! Besides, nobody has to know as long as I keep my mouth shut. Hmm, hmm. So you feel like we're friends even though we've never met before, hmm? What do you know? That's more or less how I feel too. I get the feeling a lot of stuff's happened, but I can't seem to remember any of it clearly. Hey, doesn't this remind you of one of those RPGs where the protags got amnesia and a tortured past? I wonder when we'll get to the cutscene where I awaken to my hidden power! Not that waking up is really all that high on my to-do list, really. <laughs> Personally, I prefer to hang out in the starter village and wait for someone else to defeat the final boss. I see you're, um, a very unique person. <laughs> wait. There is one thing I know for sure. You're human. But then, how are you cloaked in that divine aura? Oh, that! Sorry, Karna, but you got it all wrong. I guess not even your vaunted sight managed to see all the way to the truth of the matter this time. <laughs> Me, human, perish the thought. I'll have you know I'm one of the best known and most popular gods in the whole world. Just call me... Ganesha. Hey! Which one of you just called me Indian mythology sideshow act? <laughs> Look, I can understand why you do a double take at a gal with an elephant for a head, but my fame and divinity are the real deal. So show me the respect I deserve, damn it! Of course I respect Ganesha. And I can more or less tell that your divine aura is genuine. But then there's this... other aura that couldn't be further from the divine. Yes, that's it exactly, Rama. I'm impressed. It only took you a moment to see through this being's true nature. Hey! You don't gotta be that impressed! From what you have said, the young lady appears to be a pseudo-servant with the divine spirit Ganesha as her core. Ganesha is known for many things, including wisdom, wealth, prosperity, fortune, business, and the removal of obstacles. Truly fascinating. Paldea had its fair share of divine spirit servants of all kinds, but this one looks to be much more like its vessel than the spirit inhabiting it. Think... Once again, I am faced with the name that I struggle to pronounce. Jo... Jo... Ga... Liang. Jo... Ga... Liang. I think that's close. If it's not, I apologize. Uh, only with a divine spirit instead of a heroic one. I've definitely heard the name Ganesha before, and I think I at least know the essentials about him. His elephant head is probably his most famous aspect, and he's also said to be the son of Shiva's wife, Parvati. It's too bad Parvati's not here with us. Then you two could have had a nice mother-child reunion. <laughs> She's around too? Oh, not right now. 
I was just speaking hypothetically. Do you not wish to see her? Oh, well, it's not like I'd mind or anything. I just really don't care for the way she always blurts out whatever she's thinking. While I'm at it, would it have killed her to give birth to me in more normal way? As for my old papan, well... He's the guy who cut off my head and figured everything would be just fine if he just stuck an elephant in its place. So I'm not sure I'd really know what to say if I ran into him now. Basically, even I, Ganesha, might start freaking out a bit if, if both my parents were here. Though I do still respect them, I think. I see. That sounds complicated. Oh, for- I've had just about enough of this. Well done on finding a divine spirit servant, but you didn't come all this way to waste your time on meaningless drivel. Who's this fat- Ahem. <clears throat> stout old guy. You were about to say fat, weren't you? Well, I'm a god, so I figured I'd show some mercy and not diss you at our first meeting. Sweetie, you're fat too. <sighs> Is that so? Well, how bloody kind of you. Frankly, you're the last one here who should be commenting on my physique. Does this mean you now have a friend with whom you can discuss fitness? <laughs> hmm, this may be cause for celebration. Karna, no. What are you talking about? I don't want to celebrate anything like that. At any rate, that man is something like the supervisor of my current master, Cursor. Damn right I am. I'm not just a noble with a bit of extra girth. I'm the leader of this entire operation. You're a rogue servant, are you not? Then be a good lass and help us out. What? You want to make me work? Hard pass. Ninja finish. <laughs> ah, she went back inside that statue. We need all the help we can get to keep the nearby village safe. Especially now that we've just lost one of our most capable allies. It sounds like you guys have it rough. But, sorry, I can't help. If you need someone to help you fight, you'd better try some other god. Honestly, I don't want to fight even a little bit. I'm just going to hang out in here and keep enjoying my sweet, sweet shut-in life. It's actually way more comfortable in here than it looks. It's got cushioning out the wazoo, and of course it's fully air-conditioned. I can even manifest handheld game consoles in here thanks to the, my mysterious godly powers of wealth. There's nothing like a good roguelike for killing time. I could play those for hours on end. She is stubborn. I know from experience how hard it can be to get her to act. At least, I think I do. Master, would you happen to know if there are any stores around here that sell Swiss rolls? Why Swiss rolls? <laughs> I was speaking figuratively. I only meant that I have some idea of how to handle her. If you've got a way to convince her to help us, go for it. Understood. Then I will drag her out of there by force. It's not the most diplomatic solution, but for some reason, I get the sense that we would actually be doing her a favor. Indeed, this is how we usually handle gods who refuse to listen to reason. <laughs> no way! My butt shall not leave these cushions! I'm warning you, anyone who tries to mess with my shut-in lifestyle's in for a seriously bad day! It's still hard for me to believe she's a god when she says things like that, but we can't afford to back down now. I'll help Karna try to get her outside as peacefully as possible. Hoo ha ha, you fools. Our earlier batter will battle was just a demo. Now, witness Ga- Bleah. Now, witness Ganesha's full power. And I still can't say the things I want to say because they haven't revealed her name yet. It's like her actual name, not just Ganesha.
Oh well. How far down do I need to take her this time? Just the. This is one HP bar less than last time, so do I just need to take down this second HP bar again? No, not again, but you get what I mean. Or do I need to bring her down all the way? For a stun. <laughs> really? I don't know why it does this. It's just very annoying. Oh, wow. And just like that, they're ready to go again. <laughs> Let's see if I need to take her down anymore or not. I do. Special resist. Ugh. Okay. Whatever. I can make this work. Get another stun going. Not gonna lie, that stun is like one of the main reasons I'm still using Enkidu against her. Avalon is always good. Let's see her noble phantasm. Vuln up. Rude. So then, take oh, that's fine. Let's get Enkidu's MP up again. Target focus doesn't do much when you're the only enemy on the field, Ganesha. Uh... Yeah, okay. Mm. 
Let's get those Mothman crits. I'm also probably gonna need their Noble Phantasm for tanking, but I'm not too concerned about getting it up again really quickly. Not too sure if I'll even need to, actually. Then I'll just use this turn to get some NP going, I guess. Ah, oh, so close. Oh wait, that's right, she's AoE. They can't even tank. Oh well, we're almost through this. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, my paradise suit. Well done. It's good for your health to get outside and exercise now and then. Why do you have to be so boring and bright all the time, Karna? Who do you think you are? My dad? My mom? How strange. I'm certain I have no con connection to Ganesha, yet I find myself inexorably compelled to help you. Was I a fan of Ganesha back when I was alive? <laughs> so we've won. We've won, right? Then since we now hold your life in our hands, you're going to cooperate with us whether you like it or not. Ah, this freaking guy again. You know, the way you just expect I'm gonna go along with whatever you say reminds me of a teacher I had back in middle school. I really hated that guy. Maybe your fat ass needs some bit of divine retribution for abusing your authority. Listen, I just want to talk. Will you hear what we have to say? Hmm. Well, I do feel a kind of kinship with you, seeing as you look to be the only other average Joe here. So I guess I can at least hear you out, especially since it doesn't look like Karno's gonna give up anytime soon. Besides, if I'm being honest, I still don't fully get what's going on around here anyway. So, what is it you want to talk about? The world's been bleached clean. Trees of emptiness. And wasp belts? <sighs> I see. Alright, I get the gist. Sounds like things are even rougher for you guys than I thought. Although... You... Hmm? You're actually the most important part of your operation! What gives? I thought you were a fellow, jo fellow average Joe, turncoat! Yes, he is. 
Senpai may only be ranked as a standard class master, but his accomplishments easily meet or exceed those of an A-rank mage. I would be happy to elaborate, but I'm afraid that to do so adequately would re require me to write at least a 500-page report. <laughs> and it would unfortunately be a little difficult to do that now. Hmm, you don't seem like you can tell a joke with a straight face. You're serious, aren't you? Yikes. You're the vessel for a divine spirit now. Doesn't that mean you are also anything but ordinary? Oh, come on, Karma! You can at least pretend to back me up here. On second thought, never mind. You just say something like, she was never ordinary. Her unusual weight and waistline clearly set her apart. And the worst part is, you wouldn't even be saying it to be mean. <laughs> How did you know? Perhaps you truly were worthy to be chosen by Ganesha. No, wait. Something tells me that can't possibly be the case. All that aside, I do have to wonder. Why were you summoned to this lost belt? Why was I summoned? Believe me, I've been asking myself the same question. I think it was kind of a you have been chosen deal. Like the Ganesha inside me showed up and said something like, Save the world, hero of the digital realm. If diversity is proper human history's greatest strength, then even someone like you can do this. Now is the time for you to spread your wings. And since this is a request from my mother, not doing so is not an option. Be warned, if you fail to save the world, you will never return to the way you were. So, yeah. Ganesha seems to be a pretty nice god, and he's definitely an Indian one at heart. Oh, and don't bother asking me about my class. I'm not quite sure what it is either. I think that might be because Ganesha found me through some sort of devilish intermediary or something. I see. Parvati is Sakura, and Sakura is BB. And, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what to make of this extra class either. But we can worry about that later. At any rate, it seems pretty clear that the counterforce summoned her here automatically. So it seems like a safe bet that she'll end up joining our side. But why'd Ganesha choose me of all people? I'm just an unemployed shut-in with excess padding. If it were up to me, I'd be demanding an explanation from him and requesting he choose someone else immediately. Of course, I guess that's kinda moot now that I'm Ganesha. I think it comes down to compatibility. You may be an ordinary person, but you are an ordinary person with some exceptional qualities. I may not remember why I know that, but I do know that for certain. Th there you go, saying things like that with a straight face again! <laughs> that goes for you too, Cursor. I'm not good with words, so I can't explain it well. But you have many exceptional qualities. You may not be a great warrior or a powerful mage, but you are a great master. Come on, you're gonna make me blush. <laughs> Anywho, even if I don't like it, I figured now that I'm here, there must be something I'm meant to do. So I took a look around and happened upon that town, but it couldn't have been more idyllic. We're talking, this is what world peace looks like peaceful. Even a shut-in like me couldn't help but admire the fields of flowers and find this world beautiful. So I figured there was nothing for me to do after all, and Ganesha must have messed up and sent me to the right place at the wrong time or something. So I came back here and I've been enjoying my na lazy, neat life ever since. The end? Well, if you got a problem with that, then bring it on. Tell me, how long ago were you summoned? When did you pay the town a visit? I'd say about five days ago on both counts. Okay, so according to what Asha told us, 
That would have been back during the first Yuga. Kurta Yuga. Were the buildings broken back then? Uh, no? It was a perfectly neat little town. Not so much as a brick out of place. Then the destruction we saw must have all happened over the last five days, thanks to the Kali. That was a little... No. Incredibly careless of you, Ganesha. If you had only stayed there, you would have had every chance to fulfill your divine duties and save the townspeople. It, hey, what do you expect? There wasn't a single thing wrong with the place back then. What's done is done. There's no point dwelling on the past. Right now, we need to worry about tomorrow. We just lost a friend of ours a short while ago. I miss her terribly, but I'll never forget how determined she was to keep fighting. So I feel like we need to carry on in her stead and keep moving on. Which is why we need your help. Will you please join us, Ganesha? <sighs> I didn't even think gods were real before, and now I am one. It's still hard to believe this is happening. Part of me is convinced it's all just a big mistake. But it does look like I've got a quest to save the world now. And if there's a branch where a town gets attacked upon... Open now? I guess I can't just sit back and watch. Fine, I'll go with you, alright? Just don't expect me to be much help in battle. <laughs> you could have saved us all a lot of time if you'd just agreed to help us from the beginning. Thank you, Ganesha. I'm so glad you'll be helping us. Okay guys, it's gonna be dark soon, and we don't want to be out and about in an unfamiliar land at night. So I say we go back to the cave and make camp there until morning. We'll head out again at the first sign of daybreak. Make sure you all get plenty of rest! It's a little on the short side, but I think I'm going to call this episode here, just because that feels like a good ending point. Um, by the time this video goes up, my live stream that I have planned will be happening tomorrow. So Genshin Impact live stream tomorrow night, starting at 8 p.m. Eastern. I hope I'll see you all there, and I'll see you all for the next video.